Hey everybody, it's Tamika, and I'm here to share with you guys a design team project um, from The Cutting Cafe, and that's the cuttingcafe.typepad.com. I'll post a link below to the website, and I'll also post a link below to the project materials that I use below um, for the project that I'm going to show you. So I chose an SVG file, which comes in a couple of different formats. You can either do um, SVG and cut it out on your Cricut or uh, whatever other um, cutting machine that's compatible, or you can use it as a PDF, print it out, and then um, trace around it on chipboard and cut that out. So what I used was the Mixed Shape Mini Album Book. And this is an example. Of course, I have it cut in white, but it's five pages, and I just have it cut out using um, whiteboard, your poster board. And then, so this is, and this cut, this is cut out very small. So this is my example for you guys. Um, it's that is the first one. It's already pre-measured, so you don't even have to size it. As long as you select, or as long as you size everything at the same uh, key proportion, then these all these all fit together. So that's that design, and then you have this uh, semicircle kind of design that fits under that. Also a scalloped edge design, love that. And then the next one is a top note, almost everybody's favorite. And then finally, it's uh, the last page is like a cornered, uh, rounded book. So like I said, these fit. Perfectly. All you have to do is you cut them out, whatever you know, whatever size you need them to be cut out at, and um, you're you're good to go. And this is good to use, like since the holidays is coming up for Christmas, you can you can pre-decorate them. It's so super easy to to decorate these. The shapes, even if you use it as a PDF file, it's so easy to cut around these edges that it won't be a problem. But you can use it, like I said, for Christmas gifts, pre-make it as a theme for Halloween, a mini book or something, and then give it away. So I will show you what I created using um, that file. I made myself a junk journal. So cute. <laughs> I should just have a so cute button. And then um, I used the, uh, what did I use? The House of Three by Pink Paisley um, paper line. And it's gorgeous. It's called Daily Junk. I love it. It's gorgeous, gorgeous. So, I used a ribbon. I'm sorry, not ribbon. I used binding rings on the side to bind my mini album. And I just put some playful ribbons on the side, some lace and some twine to kind of adorn the side there. So cute. I used some trim. Love it. And the theme that I wanted to go with was um, shabby chic with a tiny bit of, of grunge. So I, I distressed the edges with black soot. But this is my book. And, these, and this, these are things that I love. I love to feel. I love the texture in the mini album. I love to look at it and, and touch on it. So this is going to be my book. I'm going to fill it in after I get done video on this. But I love this paper um, as well. So look how... I um, look how the paper it already comes you know you don't have to do too much to it but the shape all I had to do like I said was cut around this edge it was very simple and to each paper I stitched the edges in black um, black thread so here I have just a couple of sentiments that I cut out from the collection it says note and then I cut out something and popped it up it says be positive be amazing and then that paper says with a kiss so I have that just on the edge there. This is also one of their little felt ribbons. It's a clip. So that's the first page. I love how this book is gradient. So you can see like the edges of everyone. I'm going to try to zoom in here. So this first page, and this is the back of that little note. And I just have be on time punched out here. And then this that this is the back of that ribbon clip that I am just using to hold that page like that, like so. So what that does, this says a little saying down here, be positive, be true, be grateful. It's just a list of stuff down here. I have a little flower popped up. And then this bird flips open. And you have that. I can do some journaling on. Just a little flap. 
I like it. I like it a lot. And then this one, I love the feel of this ribbon trim. And the, it just went well with how the circle is going. It just adorns it really, really cute. And I left this plain. I'm going to journal all in here um, about my book. And it was really easy and really fun to create. So this I did in like a couple of hours. So it wasn't hard at all. This picks up so that I'm able to put like a journaling um, spot or tuck something behind here. A little photo if need be. This page I really like. It's kind of busy, but I like it all the same. So this is the name of the paper line, Daily Junk. And then I have a pocket here. And it just says a little birdie told me. And I put a, a little tab here. There's nothing on the back. And then here is a library pocket that I made. You can put something there. And the little Tim Holtz clip, it does nothing but just be a clip. <laughs> so I just had that there just to add some interest to that part and then this flips open a photo mat and journaling if I need to be so I like that and then again here is the stitching it was so easy to stitch around here around the edges Cute. Uh -oh. next page it just says do um, in some chip some wood letters some more of that gorgeous trim that I just love to feel. And then I just fussy cut something on um, one of the papers from the collection. I love how that black stitching stands out. So anyway, that's left open for some journaling and what I want to what I want to say. I have a little photo mat here. A photo mat there. And then down here says think positive with some uh, ribbon trim. And look at this top note so cute it's almost everybody's favorite I said that but it is almost everybody's favorite and then these are tags the pull out so I could put a picture there and I got some tags I pop pop some eyelets on there just to add some uh, variety to that oh this says again a note a little birdie told me so I really like how this turned out and then here I just got have some lace and another little rolls thing there it says recreation and then I pop this up it's a pointing to bike you know recreation and then it says be true be true love it and this pulls out it's a photo mat journaling whichever I choose and that tucks back in there and this page this is the book page very simple have some ribbon um, down here that I scrunched and balled up. I have a huge photo mat. This balloon is popped up on dots. I glimmer missed it, uh, me in those uh, wood letters. Down here, I have another little recreation, a smaller recreation tag. And in it is one thing some small tickets. This cut out time, month, B write and travel just small little journaling spots if I want to take them out and staple them somewhere or keep them in there it's just fine and it's a huge page and I cut this particular mini out at eight eight inches tall so it's pretty big and then the back page just stamp something on the, some numbers on the side and I have be yourself and then here I have be kind I got some twine because they separated two pieces of paper. This paper is actually cut from the scalloped um, paper here. I just used the back of it. That was left over. Recycling. So I used the back of that and put that there. Love, love, love the stitching. Guys, I got to do that more. So cute. So that is my junk journal. I loved making it. Again, I used the mixed um, mini album, mixed shaped mini album book that you can find over at the Cutting Cafe. I will post the link below for you guys. Thank you so much for watching again, and you guys have an awesome day. Bye.